San Francisco earthquake of 1906. It was something in the world you really couldn't miss. The tremors and the shakes, you could hear the building break, with the sound of 10,000 lions roaring with this giant earthquake. The rat might get a little bit rough. Now let's get to the good stuff. On April 18th, 5 to 12 a.m., just off the North Californian coast, you could see many people eating toast. The reason how this earthquake was bigger than tectonic plates, you could even hear from many other states. The first little shock was one minute long, but it was still very strong. After the earthquake, San Francisco had four hundred million dollars in debt. Now that would be a six point five billion dollar bet. The earthquake destroying anything is two hundred and ninety-six miles, random things stacking in piles. But the reason of the earthquake was the San Andreas fault. We'll tell you all about it because we're not in the halt. A fault is two tectonic plates rubbing together. Don't ask us why, because we ain't Alfred Wagner. The San Andreas plates for the Pacific and North American, not the Eurasian or African. This may not matter a lot to me, but the results of this earthquake were very deadly. With more than 3,000 people passing on life, leaving 250,000 homeless wishing that they could skip the day. The magnitude of the earthquake was very high. Now we will explain why. The magnitude was rated 7.9. This, for an earthquake like this, was very fun. The amount of energy released at the center of an earthquake is magnitude. We told you this because we don't change moods. We hope you learned something new. Hopefully after this wrap you aren't blue. This wrap was a little bit long, but now you know about the San Francisco earthquake of 1906, written by Charlie Collette and Ju Young Chong.